Right, good morning everybody. Sunday morning, I did not get up that early to go for a dive just because the weather's terrible, uh, the wind's more north in it than what was sort of originally forecast, which means it'll be choppy where I was going to go, and I'm exhausted. So, <laughs> basically the plans of the day, it's 9.30ish. Um, it's sort of doing a bit of work here, and then we're going to film a podcast today, which is going to be all about the past, or well, the history, of skimboarding for myself and the business and all that sort of thing around New Zealand, um, where we've travelled, Josh is going to come in on it, and the hopeful future, which of course we can only predict, but um, we're going to get up there shortly and do some of that. Yeah! Okay, shed and podcast bound with Josh. We've got all the cameras. Uh, got to drop the winch up there, and then I get this podcast on the way. Jump in by Daniel Proof there. I'll do this for the vlog. This is a Adventure NZ podcast number two. We're going to discuss the history of skimboarding in New Zealand today. Um, yeah, you all know Josh. He's the OG. He's the other OG of New Zealand skimboarding. So we'll get into it. Don't know, and yeah. maybe a lot of the viewers don't know, is we actually had, at the time, it wasn't the first, um, but it was basically the only... Yeah! Double finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, podcast started. I think that went pretty well. It will not be up on the main channel yet. It'll be up uh, a week. Or so something like that just trying to schedule myself right uh, the Sun is out and the tide is also going out I think the plan is I'll probably have some food now and um, I feel like a dive but I don't feel like a dive if you know what I mean I just I kind of want to cruise around but I also got to do something so um, I'll have some food and think about it awesome well yes it is raining again um, it is windy, very windy this afternoon. It sort of looks like it's probably pushing 20 or oh, 25, 30 knots out there. It's horrible, uh, really. So it's not going to be skim weather. It's quite cold. Um, I think really what the plan is now is I'm going to go for a dive. <laughs> I'm going to be cold. I might as well go get some food. I'm going to go to a little spot where I had some success during the week with my best snapper. So um, I'll get changed. I think I'll get changed here and drive out there. Okay, suited up and driving. Um, I'm actually heading out. It's not a complete secret, it's not a secret spot because the wind's got a fair bit of north in it, very strong from the west. I'm heading out just a uh, shore dive off of Lee, little spot off Lee that I have gone quite a few times, like I mentioned before. I did get my best snapper there the other day. The viz was horrible. Um, it should, in theory, be a bit better today because we haven't had bugger all swell. We'll see what it's like when we get in the water. I'm not expecting too much, but as you can see, the weather's pretty bloody ordinary. So um, it's 2.30 Sunday afternoon, so we'll go get wet. fish here. Um, I'm just waiting for another one now. Hopefully get something. I do need to eat tonight. <laughs> we'll mix up the angles of it with the camera and um, flip. Hope I can get something to eat.
20 past five. Not warm, though it's not that cold. I uh, ended up with a bit of desperation fish towards the end. Uh, leather jacket, which are surprisingly good tasting, and uh, blue cod, which is, um, they're delicious. So that's all right, but no snapper today. I think my face is a little bit cold right now because I feel like I'm talking funny. A um, little bit disappointing because I really put an effort in to hopefully try and get some shots and um, get some good fish. But nonetheless, that stingray that was hanging around, I'm not quite sure what the footage of that will be like, but he was probably the biggest stingray I've ever seen. Um, and the big black ones, they come right up to you. And they usually try to smother your catch if it's sitting on the ground, which that's what he looked like he was trying to, going to do. I'm going home now, obviously. I'm going to go have a shower, get out of my wetsuit. So there's the leather jacket, they call it a leather jacket because the skins are like tough leather, no scales. I'll basically just whip all that off, kind of, I have been cutting the head off, I may or may not leave that on today, I don't know, I'll show you in a minute. Right, that's how it turns out, um, skin, the skin comes off very easy, head's obviously gone, guts are gone. And then what you do is you just fry them like a flat, well that's what I do, I just fry them up like a flounder, as is, like the bones, everything, and just pick, pick bits off each, ah, uh, off each side. Uh, I think that'll do for the weekend. Um, Sunday night, I'm not actually eating it tonight. I'm going to probably eat it tomorrow. Good weekend, cold weekend. It is sort of well and truly winter. The weather's still flipping terrible. Looks like it's going to be blowing all this week. Um, do we want to get back in the water? Of course, we want to get a good winter session in very soon. I am very, I am keen. I am itching for one, so we'll try and tee something up for next weekend. Um, that's it. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm cold. I'm Sam Price. I will see you at the beach.